this is a good old WooCommerce my account page and currently there is no way for your users to use it as a support system well this will gonna change today because I'm gonna show you how to create the support system like this one here as you see on my WooCommerce account page my users can send me text messages video messages voice messages or upload their screen recordings this is the one way to use it there is also another way for example instead of this plain contact form I can display much nicer conversational form on my site I center the budget choose some options choose some image options fill the fields submit the forms and you're good to go it's fairly easy to set up so this video is gonna be a short one and if you're interested then let's jump in first things first the plugin we're gonna use today is called Helpkent and it allows you to increase audience engagement with your support team so instead of boring text messages you can send video messages voice messages also your user can upload screen recordings which allows you to in a better way figure out what they're saying or what problem do they have if you take a look at the pricing currently there is a black friday cyber monday campaign going on as you see up to 50 percent off and there are two plans for you yearly plan and the lifetime plan yearly plan for one site is currently 49 dollars per year and regular price is 99 dollars per year and as you see now is the best time to purchase this now when the money talk is out of the way let's go and create some forms let's log in and after installing the plugin take a look at the settings first it will create you a dashboard page which looks like this one here you can see all the communication on the front end also your users can see all the communication between you and them if you allow them to upload the attachment then you can set up whether to auto remove the attachment or remove them for example after 14 days how many emails do you allow to send save settings and let's take a look at the integrations if you allow uploading screenshots and videos then it would be wise to connect your site with google drive or bunny drive in this way all the files will be uploaded over there there is also a license and nothing else here next let's go to the forms i have already created two forms you'll see the short code you can use to display this form on the page you'll see the responses if you click on it then you'll see all the communication between you and the customers you can respond here with a video screen voice or text message just click fill the field reply your user receives email with a message and he or she can log in and reply fairly easy you can activate and deactivate the forms you can edit them and here you can preview them see the responses rename them or delete them so let's take a look at the preview this is a form i created earlier let's choose the text option this one video option record or upload video the upload video is very nifty because maybe they don't have a camera or they don't want to record themselves then they can upload the video they can send a voice message just click on the record button get ready start if it's ready then stop ready to send yes it will be uploaded and i will be redirected to the end screen you can customize all this here and screen recording the same way just click to record select the tab you would like to record record it upload it and done now let's create a new form and you have two options whether to create it from scratch or start from template currently there are six templates for you to use and there will be more later this year as you see already two are coming soon but i have been told that there will be dozens of templates later i would suggest you to take a look at those templates because those will give you the best overview what you can do with the plugin for example if you open up the customer satisfaction survey preview then you'll see that it also displays how much time it takes to complete the survey you can see the fields you can add for example rating add some features recommendation rating text box selection star rating 
drop down and so on. This is the end screen over here. If I would like to use a template, just click on this button. If not, then go back to gallery and select other one. There are a bunch of fields you can use here. You can even use a upload field for the job application form. And this way your applicants can upload their CVs, for example. I'm not going to use this option. I'm going to create from scratch so you can see what is happening over here. I'm going to give it the title, for example, demo form, whether to enable the form bubble. So what is a form bubble? It's this option here. You can either add it as a form bubble or use short code as I did on my contact page. So let's activate it. Now I can select the pages I would like to display it. For example, I'm going to display this bubble on my shop page. So I'm going to search for shop, this one. I can choose multiple pages, all pages, or only one page. This time, as an example, I'm going to choose shop page. Let's create form and done. Now there is a welcome screen and user validation screen, whether he or she has to be logged in. If not, then email will be asked. If you would like to delete the welcome panel, then just click on three dots and click on delete. I'm going to skip this welcome screen. So currently there is a validation screen and end screen, this one. Let's see what can we do here. First, we can choose whether to add registered user field also here or guest user field, or you can remove those here. If you don't want to show them, then click on this eye icon here. Down below here, you can customize the button text and add image or video here. I'm going to add this image for this one. Under the design, I can customize font size or the label, description style, button style, border radius, and whether to add the overlay to the media. This way it's disabled and this way it's enabled. I can customize the opacity. Later, I'm going to show you how to add other screens, but for now, let's open up the form settings. Under this one here, you can see the media limits. What is the maximum video length in minutes? It's two minutes for me, but I can change it here. Also, for the voice messages and maximum upload size. Maximum video resolution, you can choose it here, but pay attention that the better the resolution, the bigger the file. So, so I'm going to leave it as 720. Next, form text. You can change the form text here, whether to display the branding, saving complete da data, yes, and whether to enable the form bubble. You can see the preview here. Under the email notification, you can change the subject and the content of the messages. First is admin notification, and second is for users. Just change it as you like and use the short codes to display the names and emails and other information. If you're ready with the changes, click on save and let's go back to the editor. First screen is added. Let's add another one. For example, open ended answers. This one here. Now I can choose whether to activate text messages, video messages, voice messages, or screen recordings. If I click on edit text fields, then I can choose what fields I would like to display. I don't need this website URL. I don't need phone number. I can rename this as topic and this field as message. I don't need file upload option, so I can disable this one here. Let's go back and choose the layout. There are four types. Layout like this, image on the left, image on the right, and wider screen with image on the background. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to add a, an image, for example, this one. Under the design, I can choose all the same stuff as, as before. I'm going to disable media overlay for this image. And under the logic, I'm going to define what happens if the information on this screen has been added or completed. If I click here, then choose a destination is end. That means that next screen is the end screen. Just to clarify it a bit more, I have another form here. As you see, there are four steps. What is your budget? What kind of website you're looking to create? Other options, contact information. So. If I go to the logic page, 
I can say that redirect me to this page after the answer. I can also add rules. For example, if answer is e-commerce, then go to the thank you page and done. Now I'm going to add another rule. If the answer is agency, then go to the contact info page and done. This way you can customize the form as you like and you can display all sorts of information and the end screens over here. But to keep it short, there is a user validation screen, open-ended screen. If you would like to add any other information, then as you see, there are 22 different fields or options for you. Basic fields, contact fields, choices, for example, picture select option here. Just add your own images, give them names, and user can select the ones they like the most. Really easy to customize, really easy to set it up. If you would like to add another text here, for example, choose your preferred communication method, then just add it here. Or add a description, chat title, if needed. And what's also nifty is that you can customize it for every screen size, as you see this one here. Now, in order to display it on the page, you have two options. First, as you remember, we're using the bubble and we're going to display it on a shop page. So let's test it. I'm going to refresh this page. And there you go. There is a bubble. I would like to customize the design of this bubble. So there is a customized form bubble. I'm going to display it on the right. It's going to be small. I'm going to choose the background type. Upload my own. For example, this one, use it here. Now I can choose whether to display the border or not. Shape type, once again, size, if you need to customize it. Oh, I'm going to leave it as this. Save it, refresh the page. It's here, and if someone clicks, here's our contact form for the communication. Can't get any easier than that. Now a couple of other things before we wrap up. There is a save button, there is a publish button. This one here is a short code you can use to display it on a site. For example, I'm going to go to the pages. I'm going to open up this one here and I'm going to add a short code block. Paste it here, update it. Let's take a look at the site and there you go. This way you can add it anywhere you like. For example, I've created a my account page. There is a support tab. I added the support form down below here uh, by using this short code. And once again, if you would like to see the responses, then come to the forms page, see the responses from here, or click on the responses number. It opens up, you'll see all the completed, incompleted forms, because I have set it up that the incompleted forms will be saved. I can take a look what's happening here. I can see the completed forms. I can reply to them, I can set them as read, archive them, or delete those. There is also one another nifty feature, and it's called summary. It's up here. If you click on it, you'll see the summary of all the answers that have been entered. For example, there is a question, what is your budget? You'll see that three out of five people have answered to this question, and you'll see what are the answers. Later, if there are more answers, then you'll see the statistics about it. For example, like here. And it's a nice visual way for you to see what are the answers and makes understanding the information much easier. Also, you can add tags if needed. And all the contact forms that have been submitted, you'll see the contacts here. If needed, you can export the contacts. So as you saw, it's really easy to set up forms that allow your customers to send the inquiries, open up support tickets, and for you, it allows you to understand your audience in a better way by allowing them to send text messages, video messages, voice messages, or screen recordings. You can make your own life much easier, and also for your customers, it's much easier to describe their problems. As you see, this is a custom My Account page. I have three tabs, dashboard, my courses, and support tab. If you would like to know how to create a custom my account page, then I have made a separate tutorial how to do that. 
it's on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it. In the meantime, take care.